Yo guys, what is going on and welcome to episode 17. Hey, we're Harry and Nikki, we're 22 and 21 years old, and in November 2020, we bought a 17-seater Ford Transit minibus, which we're currently conversing into our tiny home on wheels. Our aim is to travel around Europe as soon as the pandemic allows. We have documented our whole camp van conversion process so far, so keep watching to see what we've done this week. So this week we have began finishing off our wardrobe. So to do that we made a door using six pieces of cladding, uh, three for each door. Mm -hmm. um, we put secured them together using some small battens that we had left over. We secured the three pieces of cladding together. We then sanded the cladding down, cut it to size. And then we painted it with our Leyland Brilliant White Paint. We attached our really cute um, antique candle onto it. And of course we used hinges to attach the door to the actual frame of the wardrobe. And this is what it now looks like. We put in two shelves for our clothes, as you can see, made out of five millimeter plywood. And we've left room at the top for a hanging rail and room at the bottom for a little toilet. A little porta potty. A little porta potty. <laughs> Classy. Yeah. So today it's Thursday and we're now going to get on with our kitchen. So my sister's boyfriend's dad has kindly said that he would come over and help us with the worktop, fitting in the hob and the sink and everything and he's coming over on Saturday to do that so we're really excited for that. But in the next two days we're going to do all we can to the kitchen before he arrives and does the worktop with us, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. So join us for the ride. <laughs> Let's start it. Okay, so I think today we're going to start with doing our tiles. So we bought these from Amazon. They're the stick go ones. And we're basically going to put them on here, on our partition wall, up till here. And then paint the rest of this um, a different colour, probably white. They're literally like self-adhesive ones. Apparently they're really easy. So I think we're going to get on with that now. Yeah. guys so we have just built our shelves for our kitchen unit so in order to do this we measured the width and depth of the space that we needed to fill we then got some nine millimeter plywood and cut it to size using a jig we then decided to make it easier on ourselves we'd use some L brackets that we got from screw fix to secure this we used some small 2.5 by 10 millimeter screws just to make sure that they didn't break through the plywood that we were using and then yeah we attached them and this is what they look like right now Okay, so it's the next day now um, and basically obviously tomorrow we have Jason coming over to do our worktop so we decided to scrap the shelves and the drawers for now and we're going to get on with some more important stuff that needs to be done before the worktop can go in and that basically includes loads of struts that are going to go in between cupboards and shelves that need to be drilled down into so what me and Harry have been doing is we've been cutting them out and painting all of the different struts different colours basically wood stain or white they're drying right now outside as you can see and we're gonna draw them in now. So it's Saturday today and um, Nikki's sisters blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's sister's boyfriend's Nikki's dad. Nikki's sister's boyfriend's family. Uh, dad and mama here to help us. <laughs> and dog. Uh, and dog, yeah. So we're going to get some of the kitchen services done today. Cool. So this is Jason. <laughs> Say hi Jason. Hi Jason. <laughs> So, we started off by cutting down our two worktops, which we got off Facebook Marketplace. They sell this exact same golden oak worktop and home base if you want the same. We then fit the worktops on top of our kitchen framework, making sure they were the correct size. We decided to have a 2cm overhang for our worktop. Then it was time to make holes in our worktops for our sink, tap and hob. Our sink came with a cardboard template, so we just needed to put the template exactly where we wanted our sink taped it down and drew around the template. So what are you doing now? What are you cutting? I am going to cut out the um, circle which our sink is going to mount into. Which Jason, you've just marked up. My sous chef Jason is just <laughs> pushing the jig for me. 
<laughs> Prepping it, ready to go. Lovely. You excited or nervous? I'm really excited. Now, does it fit in perfectly? This is like the best visual ever. Wow, that looks flush. Oh my really god, good. that, that looks, looks so flush. good. Good. So what are we doing? Explain Let's to the camera what's going on. Okay, so we bought our hob, and this is the template that came with our hob. We're now going to put our template on exactly where we want it, tape it down so it can't move, pencil around it, and then jigsaw it out. Jigsaw it out, like that one, look at this thing. Like this one. Whoa. Look at that, who did that cutting? I did that. You did that, yeah. look at that proud moment. <laughs> I did that, <laughs> nothing. But yeah, hob okay. time. We also drilled into the worktop with a 10mm drill bit exactly where we wanted our tap. Bye guys! Thank you so much! Bye. Loading the tools back up. Right, well thank you both so thank much. You. Lovely to meet, nice you. to meet you. I'll call the um, gate. What's the best way? Probably back around here. Yeah, back around there and straight out, yeah. Cheers, thank you so much, thank guys. You so much. No worries. Bye. Oh, wait, no, don't, don't go. One's out. I need to get something. Oh, yeah, you've got the. Bye, friends. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. You chuff your new kitchen. Yeah, I'm so happy. Should we go check it out? Yeah, can we have another look? Yeah, let's sit in there for like half an hour. <laughs> Chuffed. Yeah, oh my god, I'm so happy. It looks nice. All we've got to do now is get some joining strip for the middle and get some end pieces. What are they called, sorry? Um, edging strips. Edging strips for the side. And um, then it's going to look lovely. Yeah, and we need to screw up into it to keep it in place. We're going to do all that and uh, get it done in the next video, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. And the video's going up today, so happy Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, guys. We just wanted to end on saying thank you so much to Jason and Jackie for coming over and helping us. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we're so happy with how the kitchen has turned out. We love our hob and our sink, and our tap is like perfect. Jason has helped us hugely, so thank you, Jason. Um, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel, and make sure you follow us on Instagram at The Van Ambitious Project, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Just let me chill, I let you do it. Just get on with it so we can do stuff, because we're just having an argument for no reason. But I never, Go. I never, it's not, do it your it's way. not gonna be. Just do it your way. Say hi. <laughs> you haven't been in it yet, just say hi. <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> hard at work? Really hard working. <laughs> Hasn't touched his bacon sandwich, look at you. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a nice shot. Are you tidying up? Quick, gotta make it look nice. <laughs> oh.